Good morning, good morning. It's Natalie, you guys, Hotshot Adventures. I just wanted to show you, look at that. I have been off for damn near almost a month to the day. I, there's the she beast. I woke up yesterday morning, you know, and I checked my emails and there was a power only load. This is not my trailer. This is a 25 foot trailer. There's a little trailer loaded up with some little stuff from a landfill. Uh, 600 miles paying $1,300 and it just kind of worked out. <sighs> okay, so I have that um, little baby trailer behind my truck i've been off you guys know i've been off for like almost a month and um during that time because i was you know going through some family stuff and during that time i had um a friend an associate uh car hauler strictly car hauler um kind of rent kind of borrow you know my trailer because i knew like i'm not using my trailer right now um who's up in this this uh, associate of mine is up in northern california so um you know needless to say it was a good experience um for my associate um but he it was just a temporary you know just a temporary thing so um you know he deadheaded down from northern california to pick up my trailer and then he was gonna basically probably well i don't know but i would assume deadhead down just to drop it off this weekend but yesterday you know um when you're set up with with uh brokers they put you on an email list i just so happened to check my emails yesterday morning i had no intentions of working this weekend <laughs> and um checking my emails and there's a hot shot power only load paying $1,300 going from like 100 miles from my house to like 100 miles from this guy's city. So I was like, oh my God, right? I mean, I was throwing shit in the truck. Like, I don't even know. <laughs> I was just like throwing stuff in the truck. I don't have my cooler. I don't have like some stuff that I would normally pack. But anyways, um, I'm on the road. I'm uh, about 175 miles away from dropping this trailer off. And then I'm going to go meet up, get my trailer. And I've already booked two cars coming home. <laughs> um, one is actually for a very special customer of mine. One of the cars. It's a um, really neat classic car and um, super excited to get to move another car for this DC of mine who's super awesome guy actually he's buying this car I'll show you guys this car in a little bit it's a classic Cadillac coupe but um, he's buying this car for his mom and dad's 60th anniversary and is that not the sweetest thing big shout out to Ross awesome awesome person kind you know communicative I mean all that you could ask for in a customer so um, and so sweet to buy his mom and dad something um, so generous for their anniversary so big shout out to Ross and um, I'll show you guys that car when I pick it up hopefully not too late this afternoon I'm working on it but um, yeah that's what happens you know fly by the seat of your pants i've been off for a month i was not prepared to leave the house um and i just threw a bunch of shit in the truck booked the load signed the rate con and i was jamming you know picked up a trailer that's not mine of course i scaled it i checked all my lights checked all your brakes you gotta you know do all that crap make sure it's got an annual inspection all of that stuff so I did all of that and you know it's like just you never know you just never know and also you know a blessing because you know my my associate was gonna probably come down uh, but I don't know why but he would 
who was, I think, planning on bringing the trailer back down to me this weekend, empty. I, I, I'm not sure why, but, um, you know, just to get it back to me, I guess. So, um, you know, it worked out. It worked out. I made 1300 bucks up on just me and the truck, you know, 600 miles. And I get to pick up my empty trailer and I'm already going to be loading it up up here in Northern California and bringing it down to SoCal back to my house. And one car will be dropped off tomorrow, which is Sunday. And the other car will be uh, dropped off probably Monday morning. So, um, you know, again, you got to roll with it. You never know. Um, what's going to happen and um, when your next load's going to be, where it's going to potentially be going, whether you're going to need your trailer or not. <laughs> and um, it's just really neat. It's All right, 81 miles outside of Petaluma, California. On my way to drop off this little trailer to a landfill. Okay, so I'm at the landfill. I'm following this guy to where I need to drop off this little baby trailer. Lord have mercy. Look at I'm going up somewhere, I don't know where the hell, on a dirt road. Here we go. Where do you want it? Where do I need to be at? Two and a half hours later. Yay, there's my trailer! Yay! Good morning. It's Sunday morning. I stayed at a hotel. It was really nice to get some, um, to get to sleep in a bed. Um, it's been the first hotel that I've stayed in since um, all of this coronavirus stuff um, started happening. So the month and a half or whatever it was that I spent sleeping in the truck um, was a great experience. Um, but I'm looking for now that it's going to be sunny California. I'm looking for, you know, packing Lexi with me and getting hotels. And then we just jump in the pool and, you know, have a little swim and a relax. So I'm looking forward to that. Anyways, um, it is Sunday morning. I started Friday midday, probably like 11 a.m. noon. Uh, and I picked up that trailer, dropped it off yesterday morning and well, mid morning. And then I picked up my trailer. It's really nice to have my trailer back. Um, so, you know, it's my first trailer. So that's probably why I feel that way. Um, but it's nice to have my trailer back second or third or fourth trailers. I probably won't feel the same. Um, about them, but this is my first trailer. I got all my all my newbie miles on this trailer and all my newbie issues on this trailer. So um, That's probably why I feel like that. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys uh, This awesome car I have on my trailer actually this is the reason why I came up to Northern California and Did you know all these miles was actually to pick up this car and this is the car this is Ross's uh, parents 60th anniversary gift uh, very good very nice gift um, 
this is probably not an easy vehicle to find. It's a 1972 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. It is in its original form. I believe that is original paint. I will show you guys the original interior and it has only 40,000 original miles on it. It's a 48 year old car and I, I don't know where they kept it hiding. <laughs> Somewhere in Central California actually is where it's been hiding. <laughs> but um, absolutely beautiful car. So I'm just gonna show you guys. I mean, just really not coming out as nicely as I would like to see this on the video, but very, very clean. car had to put chains on the on the back there let me see if I can show you guys the interior that's cool look at that steering wheel original emblems original 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 it's got new tires on it but they're the new kind that look old <laughs> so very 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 neat car and then i just threw this one on in the back <laughs> 2017 uh volkswagen passat um just to fill the trailer <laughs> 